If you're using a Fire Stick for streaming video and want the leanest, meanest experience you can possibly get with the highest video quality possible, you'll really want to turn off the settings that I'm going to show you now. And if you're tired of Amazon constantly tracking everything that you watch and showing you more ads to get you to spend more money, then you'll want to watch this video to the end and change these settings as soon as possible. So grab your remote and let's get started. There's a lot of people using the Fire Stick out there and there's a great reason for it. It's a high quality streaming device with a very low price. And because it runs the Android operating system, you can do a lot of things with it that you can't do with an Apple TV or a Roku. Things like sideloading third party apps that just aren't available on the Amazon store. I may talk more about that later, but in this video, I really wanna talk about those default Fire Stick settings that come with your Fire Stick that you really need to turn off now. That goes for all Fire TV devices. But in this video, for simplicity's sake, I'll just be saying Fire Stick. Now, if you purchased your Fire Stick through the Amazon store, the stick will arrive already signed into your account. If not, you'll have to sign up for a free Amazon account online. You'll have to create a password and leave a credit card on file, even if you don't intend to buy anything. And then just sign into your Fire Stick with that account. Now, once you're signed in, your home screen's gonna look something like this. Your Fire Stick may already come with updated software, but it's best to check manually just in case. And it's really easy to do. So from your home screen, just scroll over to the settings icon. That's that gear over on the right hand side. And scroll down to My Fire TV. Once you're there, click on About. Then go down and check for updates. You'll see mine was updated last today, as a matter of fact. If you click on that, it's going to check now. And then if, if there's any updates, it'll say install update. And it usually only takes a minute to install. Now back to the home screen. Okay, now we're ready to roll. So the first thing you want to do after you do the updates is you want to go back to the settings and you can get there one of two ways. You can either scroll over like I was doing to get the updates or you can just hold down the home button right here, hold it down for a couple of seconds. And then you come up with this menu. It's a shortcut. Scroll over to settings. And the first thing we're gonna do is scroll over to display and sounds. Click on that. And you'll see at the top here, we have a screen saver. Now, if you want your fire stick running as fast as possible, you wanna turn off this screen saver. So go in, click on screen saver, and then we're going to go down to where it says start time, five minutes. If you click on that, just scroll down to never. And also turn off your date and clock. That just takes up processing speed as well. Now, if you keep going down here, you'll see display info. You want to turn that off, turn the Alexa hints off, and turn the shuffle off. Now go back one space just by hitting that, uh, that back arrow. And here, go down to where it says audio. And if you are you have those navigation sounds playing, you know, those clicking sounds, if that annoys you, you can turn them off here. You can see I already have them turned off. So let's back out. Okay, now we're gonna go down to preferences. Now this is a big one, privacy settings. I won't use my fire stick unless I go into these privacy settings and turn some of these things off. You know, tracking is a big thing these days. Amazon tracks you, Facebook tracks you, Google tracks you. I just wanna turn off as many tracking things as I can possibly turn off. And I'm sure you do too. So go into privacy settings and where it says device usage of data, they even tell you right here, look to the right, it says use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. Now, if you wanna get suggestions for product for marketing purposes. You can leave it on if you want. I choose to turn it off. They actually make you click twice to, to make sure that you wanna turn it off. So turn it off. Now collect app usage data. This allows the app store to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps. Now, if you're using downloaded third-party apps or, or any apps, do you really want them tracking 
your the frequency and the duration of, of their use? I don't. There's no reason for that. Just turn it off. They're just trying to collect more data. Again, it comes up with a second pop-up to make sure you want to turn it off. Just turn it off. Internet-based ads. Allow apps on this device to use your advertising ID to show interest-based ads that display products and services that might be of interest to you. You know, I know what's of interest to me. I don't need them to tell me what I might be interested in. Now, if you do, it's your decision. I choose to turn them off. Again, another pop-up, turn off. Now we're gonna back out. Now you see data usage monitoring. Now I normally turn this off also. You see it's on right now. What it, what it does is monitor your consumption. So your data consumption, if you have uh, an internet service provider that limits the amount of data you can stream in a month, you may want to use this because it's going to tell you, it's going to warn you actually, if you're going over, you know, whatever your assigned uh, data cap is. So here you can, you can turn it on. You can set the video quality. So if you do have a data cap, you can lower the quality so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't use as much data. And uh, then you can set a data alert. So if you go in here, you see you can set a data limit in gigabytes for your Fire Stick 4K or whatever device you're on. So I'm gonna back out of that. I don't have any limits on my data usage, so I don't need to do any of this. I'm just gonna make sure I turn off the data usage monitoring. Okay, now back out of that. Okay, now the notification settings. When you go in here, you'll see where it says do not interrupt on. To the right of it, it says turn off to show application notification pop-ups. I don't wanna show application notification pop-ups. I can't even say that. I can't, I don't want to show application notification pop-ups. So I'm gonna leave it turned on because I don't wanna be interrupted. Got it? I think I got it, I got it. Okay, back out of that. Featured content. Manage video and audio in the featured content area on home. Now, the feature content is that the top of the fire stick on the home screen where it shows you different programs that are coming up. If you scroll up to it, it'll start a streaming video. You don't need any of that. If you wanna have it on, so Amazon can suggest to you what you might wanna be watching, if you don't already know, uh, you can leave it on if you want, but it's gonna use up data and it's also gonna use a processing power on your Fire Stick. So if you want it as lean and mean as possible, go into feature content and we're gonna turn off autoplay. So we're gonna turn that off, allow audio autoplay. We're gonna turn that off too. Now let's go over to my Fire TV. If you click on that, if you click on about and you look to the right, you're gonna see various descriptions of your Fire Stick. So you see your device's name, what type it is, its storage capacity. Now this is really important. If you're using up most of your internal Fire Stick storage, it's gonna start acting slow, it's gonna start acting buggy. You might get some crashes, you might get some freezes on the apps. So if you've had your Fire Stick for a little while, you've been downloading apps, and this is filling up, you might wanna go in and just start deleting apps that you don't use anymore, free up capacity. You'll see I still have 1.31 gigabytes of 5.34 gigabytes available. They don't give you a whole lot of storage on the Fire Stick. Now you see your Amazon account, the software version you're running, your Fire TV home version. You got your serial number and the current date and time. If you go down to storage, you'll see exactly how much storage that you're using uh, and that's on your Fire Stick at this time. And then check for updates. You've already done that. So now we can back out of this Okay, now let's scroll up to applications. And you'll see Amazon Photos here. I don't use Amazon Photos. I don't upload any photos to Amazon. So I'm gonna turn this off. You click on that, you'll see allow guest connections and access Amazon Photos. I'm gonna turn them both off. So allow con guest connections is off. 
and we're gonna disable Amazon Photos. You have to click it twice. And here under Manage Installed Applications, if you do have to uninstall some applications taking up too much space, you just scroll down, you find the application that you wanna un uninstall. You can uninstall the Amazon applications, by the way. If I go into Amazon Photos, I can force stop, I can clear data, I can clear the cache, but I can't uninstall it. But now if I go down to say Disney Plus, now it gives you permissions, launch application, force stop, uninstall. So you can uninstall third party apps. Disney Plus is a third party app on the, on the Fire Stick. Okay, now let's go up to where it says App Store. Go into the App Store. Here you'll see automatic updates. I have them turned on. I'm gonna turn them off. External market links, ask before opening. In-app purchases. Now this is important guys. Unless you're living alone, you might wanna turn off in-app purchases. So it says here, within some apps you can purchase in-app items. Some examples of in-app items include newspaper subscriptions, additional game levels, premium content, or extra functionality. So just click on that and turn it off. Here you can manage any subscriptions that you might have through Amazon. And here's notifications related to the App Store. I'm gonna turn that off too. If this video helped you out guys, make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. It really does help me out. This is Rich Man, I'll see you in the next video.